Any more of those? No. Please. Alan Wake needs more help from the benefactor. What is that? Safe haven. I see. So, wait, so someone is using the lake to draw magical things into this world and it feeds the darkness. So the more you use its magical properties, the stronger the darkness grows, I guess. Hunting rifle. What? Oh no. A monster? Really? No, no monster. Good. Something destroyed the tree. A monster in the darkness. I forgot, I cannot jump in this game, right?
The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. Well, the kidnapper is clearly in a hurry. There's, uh, you know, hence the spelling errors. No need to call him out on that. Because I feel attacked. <laughs> Wait, we are climbing the mountain. Of course, we are going to the mirror peak. It's a peak, so it's high. Above, up in the clouds. Oh! Birds. Monster. Oh, birds. How dare you? What? Filthy birds die. Danger, danger sign. Wait, did Alan came from come from there? I forgot. Oh, I... Oh, no. I hate this. Exit the silver mine? Alright. Tunnels go to Cauldron Lake. Shut up.
is this leading to the same place or different place? I wonder. Without warning, the headache stabbed at my brain. What headache? Wait, am I supposed to go here or up there? Oh, wait, what? I'm losing it. I gotta get out of here. Nah, these pages are spoilers, man. Not picking it up. Oh, it's a it's a dead end. All right. Wait, is this water leads to Cauldron Lake if I swim? through it Oh no, big open area and I have to fall down. Is there going to be a boss fight? No. No. Please, no. Of course. Something shaking. No. No. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Right beside me. Ah, ah, ah. The flare, the flare, the flare. I forgot how to put the flare. I forgot how to put the flare. Uh. How many flares do I have? Oh wait, I used twice, what the heck? I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Yeah, maybe. I don't know.
What? What happened? I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. I forgot. Can I jump in this game? Hmm. I forgot actually. Okay, how how to jump in this game? I forgot, really. Can I even jump in this game? Wait, what is this? A storage room for drums, oil drums. What, to power the electricity? Maybe, I'm not sure. Oh no, the birds. Oh, was that? Did someone say something?
Another cable car. Just great. Yep, another cable car. Just great, yeah. Where did that come from? Huh? Oh, this sound. Please don't tell me. There will be enemies. Where is the flare? Where is the flare? Yep, checkpoint. Cauldron Lake. The eighth deepest lake in the world. Cauldron Lake is a caldera lake formed in a volcanic crater. The volcano itself could be considered to be active, but it has not erupted since the volcanic earthquakes of 1970 and even then the underground activity was comparably mild. Despite some property damage, there were no casualties. Cauldron Lake is one of the most beautiful spots in the Bright Falls area, as well as a central figure in many local folk tales. It's a popular recreational area for the area residents. Little do they know, it is also the lair of the darkness.
Oh no, right behind me and in front of me. I need more flares. Believe it or not, I need more flares. Across the mountain ruins. Wait, where do I go from here? It's a dead end. Oh, hold on. The objective indicator points behind me. Oh, up here. What is, what is this abandoned place? A brick building. Is anybody here? There's a door down there. Oh. Oh wait, I can go back up. I wanna check. I mean check what's up there. Oh well. CW and TZ. What the heck? Did you write this? I miss you, Tom. Tom, 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 Tom. I curse you, Thomas Zane. Wait. Thomas Zane, I curse you. I miss you, Tom. What? Okay, where do I go from here? Hmm? Oh, there's a stair. Well, not a stair, but... Well, it is. Oh, shut up. Oh, flare. Yes, more flare. Yes. Yes. Oh, what the? Oh, no. I'm surrounded. Flare, 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 flare. Flare, flare, flare. 
Where are they? Wait, did I just jump earlier? Where is the other guy? Oh, there, there it is. Wait. Oh, I need more flares. Dang it. I need more flares. Oh. So how do I cross the mountain? Hmm? Okay, how do I jump? Clearly I must jump across, right? But I forgot how to jump. Maybe I should check the uh, option settings. But how could I forgot? Well, I haven't touched this game for quite a while. That's why I forgot. But let me try. Oh, okay. Now I know. Alright, I see. see cauldron lake i thought i could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been there was a light near it it had to be a boat are, are we taking a detour to reach the mirror peak or are we just lost I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. What is that building? Um? Is that hey, a kidnapper? I'm I'm coming. Yeah, I think so. No, get away. Sorry, please, lady. The boss didn't know who he was messing with. I, I didn't know. I swear I didn't know. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. She's probably around. We just said we had her to make a play ball. You see, you see? We get a writing for us. Okay. 
the kidnapper mentioned a boss so he's working for someone and they don't have Alan's wife and he's speaking to a lady is is that the lady I think I mean you know the lady in the black suit or the black dress whatever it is So who is this? So who is this boss that the kidnapper is working for? Someone who knows about the writing. Who could it be? Previously on Alan Wake, I'm hunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. <sighs> it's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported <sighs> kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Faster. It's okay, okay Alan. Just, Just let, let go. go. Who is that guy? Who is that guy? I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Hartman. So this Hartman guy found Ellen in the lake. Hmm. How? How did he know that Ellen was in the lake? Wait. I hear footsteps and doors. Okay. Good evening, Ellen. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Why, right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Wait, a clinic, so he said doctor, eh?
Alright, let's see. Oh, I've lost all my weapons. This isn't good. Hmm. A typewriter and stacks of papers. What? Oh, we are near the lake. What is this place? Oh, yeah, I forgot. He said it's a clinic. Emerson. Wake. Oh, a patient named Emerson. Night Springs, the video game. Remedy. What are those? Are those condoms? I don't know. Ah, that's the front door, I'm guessing. What is this drawing? Okay, someone is lighting a light. I mean, um, pointing a light towards a guy hiding behind a tree, a guy with a weapon. What is this, a map? No, let me out of here. Oh, it's locked. Creator's Dilemma. The Engaging New Book by Emil Hartman, PhD. The author of the best-selling Creative Flow. His groundbreaking techniques, engagement therapy, and the flow explain in his own words now available in bookstores across the country wait is this hold on i think i remember a conversation between alan and his wife in the beginning of the game um hold on wait never mind i forgot this corridor is for patients most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip, except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. Lane. This way, Alan. Disoli. Oh, Wake has the number one room. Oh, a painter. I see. Lane is a painter. So they've gone on a fishing trip. Led by this person named Jack. It's locked. What? Is there someone inside? No, there's nobody inside. Why am I being treated as if I am a prisoner in this supposedly a clinic? Anderson. It's locked. Wait, where is he going? To Alan's room. What? Why? Oh, a bear statue. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned, and you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. How does he know that Alice is dead? Alice is Alan's wife, right? How does he know that Alice is dead? Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario. 
in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped, and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Is it not, Dr. Hartman? What is his right hand holding, hmm? We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. But maybe supernatural things follow certain logics. It's just that we don't know that l those logics yet. So many doors locked. I would love I'd never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. I would it love seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. I would love to have a place like Alan, this. what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? or because you don't want to admit that you're not well. It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the I let him talk. All, Hartman I'm obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly you. inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into the myself. palms of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. I would love to have a place like this, but I don't want to live in a place like this by myself you know i would like to share the place with other people like family members or f really close friends because this place is too big for just one person for just me alone this is too big i don't like living in a big place like this by myself But the question is, 
do they have high speed internet access in a place like this? And what about the latency to the nearest gaming server, I wonder? Come along. Let's go inside. Wait, who is that? Come on, come on. So spooky. Come on. There is also someone outside. Very bad. Yeah, bad scary. Is this guy behind the couch crazy? Is he messed up in the head? Oh, the gorilla man. Oh, is that a maid? Ah, uh, too bad. It's not an attractive maid. Oh well. Uh, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors. Man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. For some reason, I'm not interested in having trophies. Scary, scary. Scary. <laughs> Wait. Emerson. Oh, Emerson. <laughs> so this clinic is for the I'm insane. Really bad dream, Mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night. That's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mister Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video games. Oh, yeah. It's ah. trash, of yeah. course, yeah. but it does I'll involve some small yeah. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. <laughs> video games are trash, I agree. That makes me a trash person, I guess. Wait. Why would I self-own like that? Never mind. Um. Wait. So this clinic is for the insane. The clinically insane. Please, this, way. this way it's called a clinic. What is this place up here? Ah. What? Bear trophy, alright. What is this? A knight in shining armor? Right. Oh. Oh. QR code. Hmm. You know what? I I I don't want to have a carpet like this. Not because out of principle or something, but you know, it just looks scary to have something like this at home. Cauldron Lake Lodge, 1912, in Tenebras Cadere, Latin, what does it mean? Wait a minute, so this wakes room, why, why didn't we just go through this door instead of Having a roundabout way through that hallway. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, 
and there was no key. The receptionist table, the reception area, the within side by who is who is the writer? Vic Vic McCall or something like that. Ah, it's locked. So I'm trapped here. I'm in a prison. I don't like it. I don't appreciate it. Free me now. Patient rooms on the second floor. Hello, crazy. Are you crazy in the head? And this guy must be the painter. What was his name again? The room where I saw a painting equipment. I think the room is, you know, the room belongs to someone named Lane. So this must be Lane, right? Hello, Mr. Lane. How long have you been here? Oh, hello. I've painted you. What? Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. Wait, this accent... Is he German? Uh, I guess I'd better start wrapping this up. The storm is almost here. Look at that. I'd hate to be out there tonight. Is he German? Or is he Dutch? I don't know. Wait. I heard a squeaky sound. Wait. Those are the old guys from the diner. What are they doing here? Are they also clinically insane? Oh, I remember. Back in the diner. I forgot who said it. Was it the waitress or the sheriff? That the old guys were supposed to be picked up by their doctor or something. So they are patients here at this place. So I was right. This place is for the clinically insane. Hence the name, the clinic. So that is the mirror peak, right? So I came from there. I mean Alan. Alano. Shut up, crazy Emerson. Are these all Lane's paintings? Hello, Gorilla Man. You might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Read. Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. We're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients' need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged by their creative processes. Okay. Be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems, and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you are voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specifically tailored for you. Engagement therapy 
and its sister method, the flow, work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. Oh, so this is not a clinic for the clinically insane. This is a clinic for artists who have creative problems. Ah, I see. But the video game developer guy seems like a crazy guy. Instead of just having creative problems. So this is not for the insane. This isn't the insane asylum. My rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a, how should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Oh wait, this no, isn't... That won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? Okay, so, so this isn't a clinic for the insane. I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Well, I guess it is. Being crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Zane, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla. We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Okay, so I was wrong. Was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, you got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember like moonbeams on the brain. Oh, I just noticed leather patches on the elbows. That's not very rock and roll. Tom just lost is all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens, what was, what were they? <laughs> Memory and thought, the hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what she does. Oh, um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, a god. Nightmare shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. She's been using you, boy. And you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Now, now, it was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden, old and stupid. 
Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way, goddammit. Ah, okay, so they're talking about the witch, and so I'm getting tired. Built the farm close to the lake, a place of power. They were we talking had parties there, man. You you should go there and have a party. Fat Bob Balder threw the amp through the window, hit that a hippie chick in the back of the head. Fifteen stitches of a concussion. Bob's dead now. Leukemia. Stitches, snitches, and narcs, man. Pff, bad scene. I'm tired, man. So tired. I... I, uh... I want to go home. They were talking about the witch. I assume there's the, the lady in black. The darkness. So... The darkness have been using them too before. They had experience with the darkness. They know about the darkness. And they mention the lamp lady. The one that was in the police station. Right? And also she was at the diner. Worrying about the blinking light. She also knows about the darkness. How many other people know about this darkness? I wonder. So Anderson brothers, Thor and Odin. I assume Odin is the one with the eye patch, and Thor is the one with the hammer toy. I mean the toy hammer. They're playing Night Springs board game. All right, let's move on. So according to them, the door between this world and the and where the darkness comes from was already cracked, but. Alan Wake opened the whole door. Open it wide. By mistake? How? Through the writings, I guess. So return to Alan Wake's room now. Okay. They say the lake is a place of power, so the lake is the darkness's lair, or maybe it's the portal where the darkness comes from. Okay, where is that crazy developer guy? I'm a bad dream and you can't wake up. You can't hurt a nightmare because all dreams are only imagination. They're only in your head and they're not there when you wake up. So you can't wake up because I'm in charge now and I don't want to disappear. My nightmare is the publisher people who want to make a contribution so they can say they made a contribution. And then we end up with mullets in there because they think mullets are funny. But it wasn't supposed to be about mullets. And now it's about mullets. And when it's in slow motion, they call it mullet time because the numbers came back from marketing that mullet time is the hook we needed to go big in the target demographic and they're not even kidding they say it all like serial killers with straight faces and smiles my nightmare is the writers who want to make everything from the characters to the toasters talk 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 all the time and express their feelings so they won't shut up and the writers won't shut up either because they have feelings too and i have to listen to them because they're not scared of me and everyone should just shut up shut up shut up but i don't see nightmares pairs anymore because I'm too scary for them. I take two pills every morning and one with every meal and four when I go to bed and that makes me the scariest nightmare of all. Yes, I think he's crazy or maybe he's just enlightened. So what happened back there earlier? It seems like Alan Wake tripped and he screamed what? 
Return to your room, alright. So this game developer, you know, he's, he's talking about the problems he received from the publishers. Mullet time. Is it supposed to be bullet time? Oh, a fireplace. I see. Hello, Gorilla Rilla. Wake. Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriters in your room. The doors were locked. Hartman stairs, and the they... nurses would have keys, but there was no way to get my hands on them. Maybe it knocked the nurses out and grabbed the keys. Uh, I wish the nurse is a hot lady. Not you, but her. I wish. Uh, so go upstairs, right? Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. So, Alan thought he's using the darkness, but it's the other way around. There is a hole in her chest where her heart used to be. Hum, is heart... Does heart play a key role in this human heart, I guess? Hartman wanted me to write. I knew I couldn't, but I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. Oh, so that guy is Birch? How does Alan know that the guy's name is Birch? Hum? The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake! You stay here! I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Be cool. Are we cool? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Well, afraid of the crazy brothers, are you? Not so weak now, are we? Oh, Thor somehow gets a hold of a real hammer. I guess. I don't have weapons. Odin. Wait, did they just kill the nurses? I hope not. Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. And if she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office wing from Sinclair. Wait, where is Birch? Hold on. Birch went... Birch is the gorilla nurse, right? He went to check what's up but I only see the the lady nurse which Alan refers to as Sinclair how did Alan know her name I wonder the backstage is all yours Tom seize your destiny they've been calling Alan Wake Tom why oh Come out and face the music perch it's time to pay the piper Oh, so Birch is hiding inside the staff Maybe room. You come out and beat our wrinkled adult diapered asses for it, since you're so tough, Birch. 
We were on the road, man. You think we haven't seen punks like you before? <laughs> Mortal <laughs> name. <laughs> Yeah, you better hide first. I had to get my to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. He's probably That's where kidding, they'd be keeping Birch. them. He's got a great sense of humor. Just ask Sinclair. Oh. Uh, okay. That sounds so wrong. Go to Hartman's office. Oh, wow. I wish I had my axe. Oh, memory and thought, get black and clawed. <laughs> These old guys are crazy, but they're helping Alan awake, I guess. I just hope that the nurse lady doesn't have a concussion is it in the first floor on the first floor I think so wait whose photo is that wait who is that wait a minute is that the kidnapper on the right so when the kidnapper says his boss was he referring to Hartman Birch, Hartman, Sinclair, and the kidnapper. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. So Hartman knows about the darkness. How does he know? Did he find out from the from the Anderson brothers? Or from other sources? Who is this? Seriously! Do you have any idea how much trouble you're in? I am famous. I represent a celebrity. They'll be looking for me. Save Barry. Oh. Is that how you want to play it? Really? Okay. That's how we'll play it. It'll be hardball. All the way, jerk. Save Barry. I'm willing to forget the whole thing if you let me out now. So this is Alan Wake's editor. I hear you just fine. You what? Is this how you get your kick Hartman? I knew you were weird. You got that weird guy look. If you're one of those nurses, I'll double what he's paying you. Okay? Do you have any idea how much I make as an agent of a best-selling writer? A lot. Uh, is a personal check good? Oh, he's not an editor. He's an agent. He's Alan Wake's agent. Berry. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Wait, so Alice was a patient? Here? What? How? How? Oh, this is a creepy painting. What is this? A map? A map of what? Wash? Wash? Is it Washington? Wait, I thought this game is set in California, not Washington. What? Oh, dog. Oh, the shadows. Is this Lane's paintings? I think so. Now, Mrs. Wayne. Yeah, 
Yes. Tell me, Mrs. Wake, what would you say to him if he'd listen? <sighs> I don't know. I want to say, I look at you, and it's not you. Just some stranger who resembles you, looking out from behind your eyes. And I don't like that guy much. And now it's all gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No. No. I've tried, but he's not listening. He's too deep in his own problems. Always going on about something else. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose him. And we're not even talking anymore. He doesn't let me in anymore. He just keeps me in the dark. I'm so alone here. Even when he's home. Please help me, Doctor. Because I'm at my wit's end. Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but Doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut-up of this. Just a recording. So Alice planned to admit Alan to this clinic since the beginning. I see. Rudolph Lane's case is interesting. He was completely blocked and frankly I was about to discard him as useless. However, once Wake arrived and started writing, something changed in Rudolph. He's producing extraordinary work, increasingly dark pieces. Unfortunately, he doesn't respond to direction at all. And it's my belief that he's not so much a creator as an illustrator, perhaps. A recorder of sorts. I hadn't considered the existence of such a role before, let alone its implications, but the paintings he has produced are informative. At least he's easily controlled and useful. I wish I could say the same about Wake. It's frustrating that the best subjects are always so damn difficult to deal with. I'm curious though, how did how did Hartman found out about the darkness? Was it from the Anderson brothers or did Hartman know about it from other sources? And he's just using this clinic as a tool to harness the darkness power. judge to grant a warrant, I'll be glad to cooperate. But you won't get one. Be advised that any further communications with me are to be made through my lawyer. I don't believe this. Good day, Agent. Yeah. This Agent Trigger happy, right? So why is he so obsessed with Alan? Now, I'm really, really curious as to how Hardman finds out about the darkness. Was it from years of research or was it from a coincidence? Maybe one of his patients is the source of this information. Barry? Ow! About time! Barry, man, I'm glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no. The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time, but I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman that 
son of a bitch who tells me you're here and I should come pick you up, but when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. Okay, so yeah, the last time Alan was with Barry was in uh, is in Rose's home. Alan Wake, The Sudden Stop, the international bestseller. Hey, Barry, do you bring a gun, a pistol or something? For self-defense against Hartman and his goons. Ah, a revolver. Take it. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Hartman, what... shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. <laughs> that smirk. So Alan smirked. Why did he decide to kill Hartman? I know Hartman is not a, you know, is, you know, I know Hartman has done wrong towards Alan, but I don't think what Hartman did warrants his death. I don't understand why Alan decided to do that. Maybe there's a darkness inside Alan? Wait, I don't have... I don't have... I don't have a torch. Oh, 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 oh. My health. I don't have a torch. Oh, no. Oh no, where should we go? Over there? No, 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 ah, I'm dead. Ah, where do we go? The path is blocked. Ah, fuck you. Oh, over here. Okay. No, no, no. Where do we go? To get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. Oh, yeah, the generator upstairs. All right. I'm dying, man. I'm dying.
Where can I get a flashlight? Where do I go from here? I don't know. Oh! Where do I go from here? Where am I supposed to go? I don't understand. Oh, do I have to use the flare? Wait. Wait, it's locked? Oh, fuck. Where should I go? Ah! Fucking fuck. What happened to the patients? I hope they're alright. I hope they're safe. Betty, help, help, Betty! Give me your torch, please. I found the car, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Okay, that's good. Oh God! Look at the house, Al! Look out! Oh no! This isn't good. Barry, get inside the car and leave. Wait, hold on. Barry, you stupid fool. Get in your car, then use it to ram the gate. What the fuck? Barry, get inside the car and use it to ram down the gate. Okay, never mind, you stupid fool. Let's go. Go. It's not much of a maze. I made it through easy. 
Well, you should get in the car and ram the gate down. Don't tell Alan to go through the maze. What the heck? I hope the patients are alright. Still, I didn't get the answer to my question regarding how Dr. Hartman found out about the Dark Presence. Alright, can't Alan just climb, you know, Alan could easily go here and climb this column, reach Barry and get in the car, what the heck. Oh no! I heard footsteps. Filthy dark presence. Yeah, I know that, Barry. Who is that? Talking about TV? Is that Hartman or one of the nurses? 
Have they been possessed? Ah, that's... That's Birch, right? The gorilla. He's been possessed by the dark presence. Ah, fuck the birds. Fuck you, birds. The pages are spoilers. I learned it the hard way. Okay, big open room again. Is this a boss fight? Oh no! Two of them, three of them. Get them to a choke point! Get them to a choke point! Get them to a choke point! Fuck you! Die, you little asshole! Oh! So many birds, the birds of darkness, I guess. Are they crows or ravens? Oh no, not not again. How big is the garden? Oh, black water. Emil. Maid. Maid. Made Tom do it. Oh, who is this Emil? Emil made Tom do it. Emil, who is this Emil? Who 
Well, the Anderson brothers called Alan Tom. But who is Emil? Oh, I see. A Kreto. Oh! 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 You asshole! I heard footsteps, you know, I heard footsteps. Then I turn around and wait, how do I interact with this? I can't? It's it's a trap. So I can't interact with this? Oh no. Oh, is that Barry? Okay. I thought there's an enemy. I noticed his red jacket. Ow! You're alive! Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Wait, I hear the sounds. Maybe. Barry. Oh, I hear it. Barry. I'll find it. Don't worry about it. Where are they? Okay. Only one? Oh, lots of them. Fuck. Uh... Hurry up, Barry. I'm on it. I'm on it. Fuck. I need more flares. Oh, hey, Wait, what happened? I only have one flare left. This fuck. This is fuck. Oh, okay. Go, 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 go. Oh, I just used my last flare. Al, please tell me we're headed for the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were going to say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're going to buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm going to live in it. But that's fine, Barry. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest... But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice... They never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake. But she's not dead. Al, 
How can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... Al! I... No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! Where is Barry? I hope he's fine. Gone in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. I hope he's fine. Wait, I lost my weapons too? No!